Now it's time to see, are we really soulmates? Are we really ready for this lifestyle? Forever is a really long time if you really think about it. But let's be honest, when it's shared with that one person that you've always hoped to grow great with, your forever just feels like a long weekend. When you think about it like that, it's hard to believe that forever would even be long enough. Even now, I'm not quite sure if forever is long enough. But I won't let it stop our eternity. What is up, Halo Army? It's your boy, Milo. It's your girl, Hazel. And what are we doing today, shorty? Today, as you can see from the title, we are doing something fun today, something interesting. So as y'all know, we are engaged. Yes, man. So we need to start planning some things. We don't have a set date. It's still good to be prepared. Be prepared, yeah. Mm -hmm. So I have a little wedding planner that I got a couple months ago, and I've been filling it out here and there. So we haven't done a ton of planning, but we've kind of just started like- Yeah, just went over a few. You know, testing the waters. So while I was trying to come up with our vision and just start, you know, getting some ideas, I came across this website called The Knot. And I was like, oh my god. I was like, I found it late at night. And I remember I woke up the next day and I was telling him about it. I was like, oh my god, babe, there's a super cool website that I came across. Like, literally, you can do everything for a wedding on that website. Yourself. You can find photographers, caterers, venues, different vendors for different things. Like, photography, invitations, like, literally everything is on the website for a wedding. So I was like, oh my god, this is perfect. And what's crazy is that we are actually being sponsored by The Knot today. Mama, we made it. So that was really <laughs> exciting news that we were able to work together. So today's video is sponsored by The Knot. So thank you yes, guys. Yes, ma'am. So yeah, I genuinely really love the website. And we basically just wanted to tell you guys a little bit about it. So today what we are doing is a little quiz. To find our style basically the type of vibes we want for our wedding um you know like a classy vibe an old school vibe mm -hmm. like so that's why we are about to take the style quiz on the knot the style quiz what it, exactly what it's going to do is just going to help us find more clarity in what style would fit us based off of their recommendations and etc here is the knots website we already logged in and everything so we're just gonna scroll down and here it is right here. Your wedding vision, discover your wedding style and create shareable inspiration boards. So we are going to take the style quiz. Oh, okay, so here we go. You know what, this is gonna be interesting because we talked about it like mm. here and there, but to actually have a quiz and yeah, like see an actual result. Are you hosting your ceremony in a religious setting? I would like we to. Trust, yeah. Just say yes. Let's say yes. But it's not like an absolute must. Like, oh, it must be in a church. But I would like for it to. Yeah. So let's just say. So. Let's just say. Okay. Receptions. Oh, so oh, you oh, got oh. to mark at least four of these thirty images. So these are kind of like inspiration uh -huh. picks. I really like this one right here. Yes. The white too. one. At least four. I want clean something look. sleek, clean, and like modern. I don't like this in a museum. Definitely not in a museum, even though I hear that's really common. For real? Yeah, isn't that interesting? If we do outside, I would want it to be Definitely like not summer backyard. Yeah, man, that's crazy. Okay, next. Table settings. Ooh. So dislike or like at least four of these images. Okay. I love this. I like that white one, yeah. So as you guys can tell, I kind of like the clean look. Yeah. I just want elegant, something. Classic. Yeah, I want like stuff that's like more like this, luxury and gold like, preppy. I like that. Okie dokie. Okay. All right, so we gotta do four. Which one do you think I would like based off of this picture? Let's see if you know me. I uh, know you really like these yes. things. Yes, those are. I think that's called baby. Hover baby's over. breath. Yeah. So this yeah. one right here. Baby breath. I love that. I love this. Oh yeah, let's do that one. Yeah, I'm gonna let you pick these ones, baby. I like that one too. I like that one and this one. Classic white. Uh -huh. Dessert decorations. Yep. Oh my god, I love this one. Hmm. What about this one? Oh yeah, what the heck? Alright, so I'm moving on. Alright, so your style results. That's it. That was the end. So we're gonna see our style results. Alright, come on. Oh, okay. 
Your wedding style is glamorous, elegant, with a touch of natural. Your wedding setting will most likely be in a ballroom, hotel, farm, or ranch. I don't know about Not the farm. Not a farm or yeah. ranch, though. Yeah, okay. I was actually looking at some hotel venues, so. <laughs> and and then the color palette is glamorous, so I see some nudes and mm -hmm. some dark colors. See, like an off-white, a beige. It looks like a gold, could be brown. Which is very interesting. I would say this is pretty um, spot-on. For yeah. what we've discussed so far. We were going for like the so, gold and yeah. white theme maybe. And then as you guys can see, as you scroll down, you can also take other quizzes like your bridal style, inspiration boards for different things for your ceremony, reception, flowers, etc. So they literally just have everything. Here are some venues in our area that they recommend. So yeah, after you find your wedding style, you can pretty much just get to planning everything else. Here's all your receptions, like I said. So as you can see right here, you can create your wedding website. So I thought that was a really cool feature that they had. Basically, your wedding website is where you can update any info for all That's your cool. guests to see instead of like texting everyone. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. And you could just you could literally, like Yeah, you could literally just start your website oh, it and it tells you everything that is on there. Your guest list, people can RSVP through the website. They can message you. So I just thought that was That's amazing. That's actually. Right? Because it's like, what if you need to say something to all your guests or you yeah. text a hundred different people? So they also have this feature, which I think is super, super helpful, especially if you're having a big wedding. Also, they have invitations on here, so you can click on invitations. They have so many cute ones. Like, look at this. Oh, that's they super actually cute. have super nice ones. Like, I love this green one right here. And what's amazing about this is that you do not have to commit to it. So if like you want to see it in person with everything on it, you can order a sample uh -huh. before buying like a bulk order of invitations without knowing the quality of it, how it actually looks in person. So I think that's super amazing that you can get a sample of these invitations. And as you can see, they have so many options. And like I said, they also have a list of vendors in your area. As you can see, you can just click this tab right here that says vendors. And there is a category of everything. You can have vendors for your reception, photographers, caterers, like I said, even bridal salons, florists. Oh, wow. Literally travel specialists, bar services, DJs, jewelers. Jeez. Literally everything. Jewelers. Anything that you could possibly need, any type of service you could possibly need for your wedding, they have a list of everything. That's and you can book through the website. So when I'm telling you this is a one-stop shop <laughs> for getting married, you can literally get anything on here, even freaking party favors. So the fact that like everything is all in one place and you can do it all from the knot, I would highly recommend this to anyone who is getting married. If you're engaged, if you're starting to plan, 100%. this website is definitely gonna make the planning process so much easier and actually enjoyable. Everything's organized all right here. You can log in and everything will be saved. Or even if you only even got a little booboo and you just want to go on the <laughs> website just to see because you carry it. Honestly, curious. I would do this. I would do that I too. Would, like, that crazy. Season, no. I know y'all be on other websites looking for houses that y'all can't buy. Come yeah. on now, because I'm guilty. I, I remember taking like bridal quizzes before like uh -huh. of what my wedding dress is going to look like when I was like 14. <laughs> yeah, so like you guys most definitely click the link down below in the description and make sure you take this quiz, you guys. And comment down below what your results were. So again, we just want to say thank you to The Knot for sponsoring this video. We love you guys so let's get into the rest of the video now that we took our style quiz and we know what type of style we are looking for for our wedding now it's time to see mm -hmm. if it's even the right time for us to get married now it's time to see are we really soulmates are we really ready for this lifestyle? Because we really got to be about this life if we, about, if we about to do this life. You feel me? What we're about to do, you guys, we're about to take some couple quizzes. We're about to see exactly how well we know each other. We're going to see if we're just meant for each other. You know what I mean? I know I'm going to ace these quizzes 1,000 million percent. I got good faith that she will as well. But I'm not 100% sure like I am Excuse with myself. Me? Because me, myself, Vice uh, versa. I love her so much. And it's, it's very clear that she she don't love me as much as I love her. Boy, <laughs> Not just playing, but yeah, we're about to hop straight into these quizzes. You ready? Yep. So it's, about to be it's a quiz type of night. Let's see. I love playing games. I love doing quizzes. <laughs> I think it's super fun. Okay, so the first quiz we're going to do is called Are We Ready to Get Married? Are we? Are we? Let's are see. We? 
There's 10 questions. So the first, I, I don't like this quiz. The first question is how old are you? Why does that matter? <laughs> You're about to be so judgy. <laughs> Why does that matter? Okay, how old are you? 19 to 24. to 24. How would you describe your personality? I guess, how would you describe like our relationship? I would so say romantic, it's romantic, confident, unstable, or immature. Definitely not immature. I think we're, <laughs> I think we can be immature at times, yeah. but I think we have a very mature relationship. I say, I, yeah, I say more so confident. Really? Yeah, because I'm I was like, gonna say more so romantic. I mean, it's romantic, well, I but I feel like we have more confidence than romance. Okay, I'll put confident. Okay. Do you want the same things for your future, like kids and oh, career? One hundred percent. Yeah, I think we're pretty much on the same wavelength uh -huh. about that. Does he slash she get along with your family? Yes. I say very well. Very well? Yes. Okay. Yeah. Which career would your partner rather pursue? Architect, nurse, therapist, or police detective? Probably a therapist. Yeah, me too. 100%. I actually went to the school for that, right? Yeah, I went to, uh, I was studying psychology in college. Oh, schnitz. Which career would you rather pursue? Teacher, secretary, doctor, or lawyer? I would rather be a lawyer. What? Really? Yeah. Over a doctor, yeah. I would have put teacher. Why? I, I always kind of wanted to be a teacher. I always hated teachers. How often do you talk about your futures together? Very I would say very often. Yeah. Either very often or pretty often. Yeah. We talk a lot. We communicate yeah. <laughs> a lot. How would you describe your partner's personality? Confident, romantic, hardworking, or insecure? I'll say confident as well. Let's see our results. <gasps> Oh my god, you are definitely ready. Yeah, man. Yeah. I already knew that. Bro. You are Come definitely on. ready to Come get on, married. Bro. You know each other better than you know yourself. Come on. You are mature, confident, and stable enough to spend the rest of your lives together. You have no. talked about your future quite a lot, and you both want the same things. You are definitely meant to be. 100%, man. Oh my god, are you shocked on our results? No, I told you Me no, neither. bro. I was, I was kind of nervous. I'm like, what they gonna put? Why are you not No point. Oh my god. That was quiz number one. We were meant to be together. Okay, so the next quiz is who loves who more. I'm a win. Hundred percent me, I'm bro. A win. It's one hundred percent me, bro. No. Alright, then if you capping on one of these questions, or if I'm capping, we gonna call each other. Who right? calls the other one first? Me. I feel like I call you first. I'm trying to think back to like when we were like long distance. I used to, don't even don't okay. even think back. It's hundred percent me. Okay. Be honest. Who apologizes first between the two me. of you? Me. You do occasionally, but for the most part, me, me, um, be, be honest. No. Stop the cap. I would say we both do. No, I do 100% of the, come on. <laughs> Look at this answer. Neither one of you does, and that's why you guys are in crisis for such periods of time. <laughs> Dang. No, I, I think we both do evenly. You only apologize if you did something wrong, but yeah, me. Yeah, no, that's only when but, you should apologize. But there's times where you do something wrong, but you're not aware that you did something wrong, and I apologize on the behalf of you, so you don't have okay, to. Okay, fine, babe. I'll give it Come to you. Come on, bro. You know I'm. You know I'm not capping. Who remembers every defining past moment of the relationship? Boy, you got me messed up. You only remember too. the bad things. I no, remember I don't. Things in detail. I remember the good things. I always talk about the good things. <laughs> Liar. I'm gonna say we both do. No, you can say you. You, got me up. you can say you. Yeah, you need me. some type of point. That's not true. I'm I, my photographic memory Babe, is ridiculous. Babe, something you know me. Yeah, I feel like me. So it's either Stop me or it's both of us. You could just put you because, like I said, no, you no, you're just not, say we're both. Not you gotta say both of us then, because it's either me or the both of us. Okay, who wakes up early to cook breakfast for the other? We don't need breakfast. And we don't wake up early. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> um, I'm gonna just put. You don't really cook. <laughs> <laughs> we don't really cook. Especially not I just morning. cooked you set food, some food right now, baby. Do not make me expose you because I will literally say what you made and how you T made tell it. Tell them, tell them, so tell them, tell them I just made you some food. <laughs> no. Okay, who thinks about buying gifts all the time? Okay, I would say mostly him. Yeah. He mostly be surprising me with like necklaces, jewelry, randomly shoes. Have you still, right? Yes, baby. Oh, here a little spicy one. Who wants to have, you know what, a CX all the time between the two of you? I feel like it's mutual. Yeah, I think we're both like kind of on the same wavelength I feel like it's with normal. that too. Who takes the most initiative for the couple? I would say more you. I'll say more so me when it yeah. comes to 
being like occupied. Who mostly says I love you first? Definitely me. I'm not even giving you this point. Bro, it's definitely me, and you know yeah. dang well it's me. Bro, you every morning you I say I love you before I, you. I even wake I made up. You. I made Stop you. You know I made you do Stop that. The cat. No, you, you remember what I much. talked to and I said, babe, you never say anything to me in the morning. You just get up and leave. And then but I still say I love you after no. I leave. Before I leave the door. No, sometimes you just leave and don't say nothing. You got mad at me for not saying good morning. Not I, I say you. I love you the most, definitely. That's so bad, bro. Sometimes I say I love you and you don't no. need to say it back. No, that's a freaking lie. <laughs> Who cries the most when you break up for a small period of time? We don't break up, we have arguments, and I cry. You cry most. <laughs> so I cry, cry all the time. Every day. I'm a cry baby. <laughs> <gasps> screenshot that. Screenshot that right now. Screenshot that right now. Not playing with you, bro. Stop. It says that he you, loves me more. Uh -huh, because that's it's not true. true, though. That's not true. So, I show my love in different ways. Because you're that a are woman. Stronger. You're a woman. Just because you show he more buys me emotions. gifts. No, more. not gifts. That was one of the questions. Who surprises the Listen, other with gifts? Like I don't show my love like that. If we're both comfortable so, on the couch, this is true love, bro. If I love both, him more. This is true love. If we're both comfortable on the couch yeah. watching TV, if even if my back hurt. If she asks me to go do something for her, I'm gonna go do it. If I ask her, she'll be like, mm -hmm, okay. That's a lie. Are you serious? Me? How many times do I say, baby, you want me to get up? I'll go do it. I get you up do. off the couch for you all the time. You do, but I'm just saying, in comparison, I do it way more. I, I was just joking, baby. Look what it says, <laughs> though. It says, your partner came to you and made the first move. That's true. That's 100%. They had a crush on you, and although you feel honored to receive that much attention, you are still a bit clumsy when it comes to returning them the same type of devotion. They sometimes look disappointed about your lack of interest or your disagreements, but they still stick around because of their feelings. I disagree with this. I don't think he loves me more. I definitely love him more. I just feel like I show my love in different ways because literally all the questions who surprises each other with gifts, who's more romantic, like things like that. I show my love in a different way that's off camera that y'all don't, don't be seeing. Like what? Just little things uh, <laughs> that are that we don't capture on camera. But like what that makes you... I don't know. I just know I love you more. You don't agree? <laughs> so do, you, do I not show my love enough for you to, to convince you that I love you, you more? You just don't. I you don't love you. So? I just know my heart. I'm a very loving person. I love people so much. <laughs> It's <laughs> easy to say. Like that? No, I'm serious. Like I just feel like even like with friendships, anything. Like I just love people and I give people everything. So nobody me. ever on this planet ever loved you more than you loved them. I don't think so. <laughs> <laughs> Not even my mother. I feel like I love oh. my mom so much. Like I would die without my mom. I feel like I love 100 love. Like you more. literally, I love everyone in my life so much. Like I'm just a very hard lover. You know what I'm saying? I know that sounds funny, but like, I really am. I promise. Everyone I've ever loved has never loved me. They do more. love me. I'm not saying they don't love me. I know you love me, more. but I love people more. Everyone I have a bigger ever. heart. I'm just nicer. I give more. I just love people with everything that I have. Okay. That's just the type of person I am. All right. Next quiz. Give me my respect. Yes. <laughs> I love him more, y'all. That quiz was a lie. That was a whole lot of cap that you just that said right there. That quiz was bro. a lie. You're a lie. So the next and final quiz is called the Kinky S-E-X quiz. Okay. Whoa. So basically it's just Whoa. a quiz that's gonna see like basically if we're into it, like are we, you think we are? Are we kinky or, yeah, or are we normal? Yeah. I feel like we're normal, but I don't know. Okay, what's normal to you? Normal, I feel some like. People, some people say like normal is like boring. I feel like we're just sexually normal. We don't have, we don't do <laughs> the nasty, yeah. Normal. We don't do the nasty like Everywhere we are, like if we're in a gas station, we're not just about to go behind the shelf and get kinky, you feel me? We're not about to, at the zoo, we're not about to jump in the goddamn pond with the alligators to get nasty, you feel me? I feel like we just do normal stuff. Okay, so let's get into these questions. I'm really nervous about answering this quiz, but I thought it would be something like fun to end off the yeah. video with. So, first question, do you like to get slapped during I don't. Don't slap me, bro. Oh my god. <laughs> don't slap me. Bro, the, the the multiple choices. They're very descriptive. Yeah. This is very explicit, y'all. <laughs> oh my god. Alright, just um I'm I don't even want to answer. Why are you you nervous? You shy? I'm shy. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Alright, just answer it. I would say yes, but he doesn't do it. He just won't do it. I'm doing like, right now. Why no, you just, not choke just, me, slap me? I just don't want to hurt you, baby. Because I love you more. Okay. 
I know you would slap me if I wanted you to. Because yes. you don't love me more. I would if that's what you want. That's how you know I love you more. Because I'm going to do what you want me to do. Girl, shut up. I will probably cave Have your you... face in. What? I will, if I tried to smack you, I'll probably cave your face in. I'm too strong. Boy, fuck You know I'm like... Anyways, can... question number two. Have you ever had SDX in front of a mirror? Yeah. We, we were we were gone. We were gone out the industry. Shut up. <laughs> Do you like your partner to pull your hair? Wait, 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 wait. What? We're not even gonna, let's not even finish this quiz. Are you serious? Yeah. Are you gonna leave them hanging? I mean, if y'all if y'all want us to do this nasty quiz, y'all we're only on question video. number three, and there's still ten questions, and I don't know, it's been hard to get through already. Okay, all right, how about this? How about this? Give us twenty thousand likes, and we will do this quiz right along with some even more explicit quizzes. And on top of that, we'll do another video of me asking you oh my God. questions you're too shy to no. answer because you're extremely shy. We gotta open you up, girl. Y'all, if you know me, if you really up. know me. I'm a very conservative person. That's okay. I just like, I don't like talking about uncomfortable things. I keep my business to myself. It's all good. It's all good. I just Charlie. feel very uncomfortable when talking about things. Like, I don't know how people are so open about things like this. Awkward. Like, I don't know. I'm just not <laughs> like that. I think that's something private. Well, we about, to, we about to break you out of that shell right now. Get us 20,000 oh likes. We're no. going to keep the threshold low don't for you guys because I really want this video to happen. So make that move. I can't wait. I'm glad we don't have to answer questions right now because I was feeling really <laughs> weird. <laughs> no, you guys, she's really bad. If, if I even bring up us kissing in front of friends, she gets nervous. So Y'all, literally, when we first met, it was, I was oh so bad. God. But anyways, Bruh. it doesn't matter. Anyways, <laughs> 20,000 likes and we're going to expose her. We're going to break out of her shell and we're going to expose her inner thoughts to the world. You feel me? No. Let me know. Thank you to the Knot for sponsoring this video, man. It has been an honor. Don't forget to click that link down below in our description to visit the Knot. And yeah, we hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so fun for us to do. Le -le. We love you guys and we will see y'all in our next one. Yes, sir. And as always, remember, heaven had a little opportunity. And keep your head on my G. Oh, yeah. That was a little too low, but I was closer than you. They said I shouldn't feel how I feel about you They said I shouldn't wanna be around you They said we shouldn't be together when we'll it last forever Look baby, that's cap cause I'm only about you You used to call me on the cell phone Telling me what you have been through Told me you can't wait no longer You even had this certain ringtone Every time it rained, all I knew it was you by the song, girl Now everything is different, now they wanna see us Why, but girl, we are